Hello and welcome, Jay Fazette here, founder of The Creator's Code. Today, pillar number 10, I have a spiritual practice. Now, there is one really important word in there, and it's called practice. Now, you gotta understand something about me and The Creator's Code. I do not give a hoot what your spiritual practice is or if it's a formal religion. So from my perspective, you could be a Christian, you could be a Buddhist, you could be a Muslim, hell, you could be a nudist. If that's your religion, I don't care. From my perspective, I hold the space that the most important part is this. You recognize, I recognize, we as humanity recognize there's far more to us than flesh, blood, and bones. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. We are not human beings having the odd spiritual experience. And when we begin to get that, again, heart, mind, and soul, what we recognize is this. You and I and everyone else are connected. Now, from that space, I don't care what your practice is. I just deeply care that you practice it. Because one thing happens when we really get to the core of virtually every faith, of virtually every spiritual practice, that we begin to understand this one idea. That which I do for me, I also do for you. That which I do for you, I also do for me. That's the light side of it. But here's the dark side of it. That which I do to me, I also do to you. And let's be clear about this. There are many of us who are incredibly harsh, incredibly mean, incredibly abusive to ourselves. We never dream of doing that to another human being. But it's okay to do for us, or it's okay to do to us. Please hear this. If it is true that we are spiritual beings having a human experience, guess what? We're actually doing it to others. By the way, same thing holds true. Anything that I do to you on the dark side, I also do to myself. It's no different. So, I have a spiritual practice. is a consistent way of reminding ourselves. There's more to us than this. This is just the vessel. This is just the container that I happen to be in this time around, depending upon what you believe. And if there's more to me than flesh, blood, and bones, then it's imperative that I spend time on a consistent and regular and daily basis getting in touch with that piece of myself. Because in my experience, when I'm in touch with that piece of myself, that is when I am most resourceful. That is when I'm most connected. That is when I have those experiences of instant manifestation. I quite literally think it, and poof, it manifests in my life. So, pillar number 10, I have a spiritual practice, which means you're practicing.